everybody, it's Lex and Riot, and we have something quite different for you today. Join me as I unbox and test the Zupapa Stand Up Paddleboard with Kayak Conversion Kit. Since I've never done this before, and it's a Lex and Riot video, you can expect that things get a little messy and wet. But most importantly, I have fun and have success at the end. Let's start with the unboxing. I know from the product description that everything should fit into this backpack to make it easy to carry. And the total weight once all in here should only be about 20 pounds. So that's pretty doable by everyone. I'm really excited to have this because I love the water. I grew up by the lake, I'm an Aquarius. So I feel like it's gonna be very natural for me to take to this, uh, unless it isn't. So let's get it assembled. Let's see how this goes. And uh, then we'll drive over to the nearest lake that doesn't have leeches in it because the lake over there has leeches in it. Well, I'm not really going to bother getting this too clean because we're going to take it right back out. But it looks like it stores away pretty all right. Not too... It's pretty light. Here's where we'll be testing the kayak slash stand-up paddle board today. It's a reservoir in Idaho. As you can see, the lake is pretty quiet. Probably because it's not that warm. It's also really smoky, so not so much sunshine, so we'll see. I'm not so much worried about the paddle board as I am just being cold, but let's see. So now we have to continue from where we left off back at camp and actually inflate this thing. I figure since I'm new to this, I'm going to start it out as a kayak and then do it as a stand-up paddle board. Ooh, that breeze is chilly. Uh, and it says if you want the foot bar to install that first, so I guess that's what I'll do. It does have, it does have a adapter, so you can you can fill it with a tire gauge. That would have been easier. Oh well. <clears throat> now something I am a little confused about is this thing is supposed to tell me the PSI and it's not. So I think it's broken. And if you overinflate it, it can pop. So that's bad. So. All right, everybody. And next we're gonna attach the seat. Okay, I have to say, setting it up was not that hard. From start to finish, from the moment that I cut the box open until right now has been an hour and a half, and it took about 20 minutes to drive here. So maybe we're looking at an hour and 10. It's not bad. And that's with me farting around and filming. So you could probably expect to set it up within 20 minutes, I'd say. Maybe a half hour the first time. All right, I figure we'll attach the fins. These are really easy to put in. It's like intuitive. Okay, so here's the deal. The Zupapa paddleboard slash kayak is supposed to hold 380 pounds. So me and Riot should have no problem. Sorry, there's some wind. Now this camera is not waterproof, so I'm gonna to have to switch you over to the GoPro. But let's test this sucker out and see if this isn't a good investment for everybody. I think having a pedal board or a kayak is something that like, I can't believe I live so long without. Uh, I'm really excited to get out on the water, uh, but let's see if this one in particular stands up to its selling points. What really excites me about this Zupapa stand-up paddleboard slash kayak conversion kit, besides it packing away small for easy transport, is that the military PVC and EVA material makes it puncture resistant even to dog nails. So as you'll see throughout this video, Riot is going to hop on and off of the paddleboard several times and 
happily, I will tell you at this juncture, but please continue to watch the video, it does not deflate on me despite her erratic jumping on and off and tap dancing. And uh, for an inflatable product, that really impresses me and it makes this a very worthwhile investment because naturally, if I can't do an activity with Riot, I'm kind of reticent to even do it. You're still crying? You want to try getting on it again? To come place? Okay. Let's try it again. Because it's cold. Ah, right. Riot, you're not helping. My comfort zone was really to use the stand-up paddleboard slash kayak conversion kit in the kayak form. Uh, Riot was not very helpful to my balance in order to stand up, so I decide if I'm going to try it, I'd rather try it in more shallow water. So I only slightly deflate it, which was super easy to do, and I'm able to kind of shove it in the back of the truck so I can take it to a river area that I know is a little bit more shallow and I'm hoping allows me to try standing up maybe successfully, but well, you'll see. Okay, and then we have, okay. So uh, the wind is picking up and the temperature is still chilly and the water is chilly. So we're gonna do a little test. Oh shit, it gets deep. Oh, this is a mess. I'm not ready to stand up. At least not with current. There's a decent current here at the Snake River and I don't think I'm ready for it. But I love this thing as a kayak. Oh, that current's too bad. I far underestimated the current of the Snake River. Okay, now what? Because I want to try it standing up. Okay, back to the lake. So naturally I'm filming myself, so I didn't get to get my full fail on camera, but I failed, I fell in. Riot was part of the fail. So I bring it back towards the dam area where I know that there's a boat ramp that I'm hoping allows me to have a stand-up success. Hi, Hi. good. Cold and wet. I fell in the Snake River. Oh, <laughs> So I'm supposed to review this stand-up paddleboard. So I'm bringing it to calmer water, hopefully. I know. Yeah, the wind's been messing with me all day. This is this is my third attempt, to be honest with you. All right. Well, hopefully this is the last time for now. The stand-up pedal board slash kayak does come with some shoulder straps to make carrying it from your vehicle to the water easier. But at this juncture, I didn't have patience to figure out how they attached to make that work. So I just grab it by the center handle and use it as a little bit of a wind sail to help me steady my way down the boat ramp. Okay, once again, I think this will be easier without Riot messing up the balance. Considering how much she's hopped on and hopped off though, I am very surprised that an inflatable product has not exploded or punctured. So I am very impressed with that alone. I feel like it's worth it um, because I'm gonna get better at standing up on it. In time, it's gonna be more and more fun. And if she's not able to puncture it, then I mean, the fact that this is so portable, I feel like this is a game changer, especially for my summer plans. 
which will hopefully allow me to use this a whole bunch. So let's see if I can't stand up on the bloody thing. I'm already wet, so I'm not even gonna bother taking off the overalls at this point. Now, before attempting to stand, I decided to paddle out the kayak slash stand-up paddleboard and see how deep the water goes considering it's only 68 degrees out and it gets pretty deep. So I decided to use the side of the dock as a stabilizer as I get comfortable. Now here I'm starting with my feet as described in the uh, booklet that the Zupapa comes with um, and I don't feel like it's quite stable. So what I find worked best for me personally was to have my feet more square. When I tried to ride it like a skateboard, which is something that I'm more acclimated to, uh, I felt less balanced. But when I had my feet square, it seemed to be way more successful. Now I am kind of being a chicken here and keeping close to the dock, but I at least got up. We're going to continue testing the Zupapa paddleboard and kayak. I have to say, I love that it can be used as a kayak because if it was only a stand-up paddleboard, I'd obviously be a complete fail right now. I mean, I did get up, but like, how awkward and ungraceful and unsexy and gross. So uh, I look forward to continuing to practice standing and hopefully in warmer weather. I don't know if you can see the goosebumps, but so far so good. I'd give it an eight out of 10, simply for the fact that the PSI part does not work. Now I didn't choose the best day to test the stand-up paddleboard slash kayak. So I'm gonna tuck it away, just kind of half deflated, and we're gonna come back to it on a warmer day. Okay, so even though my skill level is like zero out of 10, I have to say, this is one of the more fun experiences that I've had. We have work to do with this thing, so it won't be the last that you see of the Zupapa. We might just go to warmer temperatures to keep playing with it. But before that happens, turn left onto Forest Road 139. We're gonna do that. And then we're also gonna take it to the Snake River. Near Island Park, Idaho is a four mile water nature trail on the Snake River. I left Riot at home to do this as one, there's a lot of wildlife like moose and bear on the trail. And two, I wanted to test the Zupapa stand up paddleboard slash kayak conversion kit without her as a distraction trying to jump off somewhere on the four mile trail. We have work to do with her skills with it too. This should not work either. Or is this a bad tire gauge? Is there only a four million tire gauges? Since the Snake River Trail is a little over four miles, I really wanted to make sure that the PSI was correct. And since the PSI reader on the hand pump was not working, I tried to use the adapter for the, if you use an electronic pump, and then a tire gauge to see if I couldn't get a read that way. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to, so all I could do was trust that I had it filled enough by feeling the actual board and putting trust into it. Thankfully, as you'll see, everything worked out, but I really wish I could test or know what the PSI was. I wonder if I, oh my God. Lock the thing. My butt's flat. I like sitting in the middle. 
As you can see, part of the Snake River water trail is really shallow. And even though the stand up paddleboard slash kayak dragged down some rocks, it did not puncture and it did not fail. And I'm really thankful for that. If you're looking for a little bit more information on the Zupapa stand up paddleboard slash kayak conversion kit, its dimensions, or at least the one that I have, is 11 feet by 32 inches by 6 inches. The board weighs 20.9 pounds, and as I mentioned earlier, it can hold up to 330 pounds. The kit includes everything you could possibly need, including the paddleboard with the wrap belt, the floatable two-way paddle for paddling and kayaking, which you can convert depending on how you're using it. It has the kayak conversion seat so you can relax and use it more comfortably like I have been doing, a paddle holder to clip the paddle to the D-ring to the actual kayak, a removable footrest, removable fins for different types of water, dual action pump, which does inflate it and deflate it really quickly, a coil-up leash to tether you to the board, shoulder straps for long distance carry, a repair kit, and the backpack which stores it away for easy carry and easy storage. This Zupapa stand-up paddleboard slash kayak conversion kit is $399.99. However, you can get a discount by using the special discount code in the description box below, which is LEX10, which will save you $10 on all orders over $100. There's also some additional discount codes on the Zupapa website, so please click the links below if you are interested in upgrading your life to have more fun on the water while you travel or even if you're not traveling and you're just in the market for a stand-up paddleboard slash kayak conversion kit where a dog can jump on and off and it doesn't puncture. A special thank you to Zupapa for supplying the product for today's video and an extra special thank you to David, Douglas, Sherry, Randy, Scott, Chad, and John for leaving a tip via our PayPal link tip jar to support the channel. If you find videos such as this helpful or inspiring, please hit the like button, subscribe, and share it with a friend. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and make sure to check out our other content too. We'll see you next time! Okay, we need to fill it with more air. I don't feel like my ass should be that wet, right?